This is New Zealand. The land of Hakka and Middle Earth. New Zealand is located next to Australia, a fellow Anglophone country who is way bigger, stronger, and arguably more influential in the world stage. Given the similar geographical location and history of being British settler colonies, why New Zealand is not a part of Australia? Well, it goes back to long long time ago, in the upside down land it means around the 18th century, when some Europeans showed up in Australia and New Zealand, annoying those who were already there. Australia was predominantly inhabited by Pamaniangan speaking aboriginals, whilst New Zealand was predominantly inhabited by Austronesian speaking Maoris. The Brits did not arrive first, but it claimed all the lands, classic. Australia became the land for convicts, whilst New Zealand became the promised land for sheep lovers. Separate colonies were formed across Australia and New Zealand. These separate colonies initially did not really care about each other. But when the Germans showed up around the neighborhood, the idea of federalization in Australia became popular, because colonies together strong. There was always an expectation that the fellow Anglophone New Zealand in the region will eventually be a part of the Australian Federation. It's like Tasmania but further away. But New Zealand never joined. Why? Well, New Zealand is too far away from Australia to be bothered to do the paperwork. But more importantly, Australia was being racist. You see, New Zealand kind of enjoys the harmony between light-skinned Europeans and dark-skinned Maoris, whilst Australia loves white supremacy and hated the dark-skinned aboriginals. If New Zealand joins Australia, the social position of the Maoris will likely be jeopardized. In addition, Australia has lots of East Asians laborers, something which New Zealand did not want to see in its own islands. Hypocrites. New Zealand reckon that mainland Australia will likely be calling all the shots, so it's better to be its own boss. Australia, either being a big friendly neighbor or a desperate ex-boyfriend, really wanted New Zealand to join Australia sooner or later. The Australian constitution included provisions to allow New Zealand to join Australia as an additional state. To attract New Zealand, Australia allowed Maoris to vote, something that even the local aboriginals could not do. The capital hill of Canberra also has a road to be dedicated to New Zealand. Despite all these efforts, New Zealand still said no. These two countries eventually paved their own separate ways towards independence, economic downturns, spying for the United States, beating England in sports, beating each other up in rugby, exporting Hollywood stars, foreigners being confused about their capital cities, and here we are today. Non-Aussies or Kiwis will think that both nationalities are basically the same, just like their flags. But for the Aussies and Kiwis themselves, their national identity is everything, and will likely be annoyed for being mistakenly labeled. Kiwis will say fish and chups whilst Aussies tend to say fish and cheeps. Kiwis are seen as more refined and polite, whilst Aussies are seen as being the United States of the Southern Hemisphere. Kiwis are obsessed with rugby whilst Aussies have other things to be obsessed about like cricket and Aussie football. Aussies lost a war against some flightless birds, whilst Kiwis were always left out of the world map. Both Aussies and Kiwis enjoy warm Christmas, having a good barbecue, eating black yeast, and will get into heated arguments of who invented the pavlova. Will New Zealand be a part of Australia in the future? Probably not. Australia and New Zealand have been cooperating in a lot of ways, such that New Zealand is enjoying the perks of being a part of Australia whilst technically not being a part of it, and therefore there is no need to officially join Australia, at least not yet. Thanks for watching.